within here let me have a div element and within that let me add a progress element which is an html5 element so let me write dollar body i want to have the element added to the body and i want to add it as the very first element so i am using prepend instead of append if we add append it will be added at the end but i want to have the element at the top so i'm using dollar body dot prepend instead of this you can have the element here itself if you want we are using jquery for that as well okay and within this let me have a div element first so div id equals container here i'm using single quotes because here we have already added double quotes div id as container and let me close the div here itself and then within this let me add the progress bar element okay so here let me have progress which is the name of the element and let me set its id as say indicator okay then i want to have the value as 0 for the starting so 0 then i also want to set the maximum as 100 because here we are representing the value as percentage value that is we are calculating it as a percentage value so i am setting the maximum as 100 then let me close this and also close the progress elements tag hope you understand this if you want to avoid this confusing statement you can directly add a development within this and inside that you can add the progress bar here i am trying to make use of jquery for that as well so body dot prepend div id is container within which i am adding the progress element with id indicator value as zero for the time being and maximum as 100 okay now we have added a progress bar now we need to style this container and progress bar a bit so that it will be displayed as we want so let me have the style section so let me add style and within this let me first style the container element so hash container and let me make it at fixed position so let me specify position to be fixed for this and also set the value of top to be 5px to have some gap on the top so i'm specifying position as fixed so that we can set the value for top and left I'm setting the value of top to be 5px. Next, let me style the progress bar for which we have given the ID as indicator. So let me access it indicator. And for this as well, let me specify the position to be fixed. Okay. And let me set the top to be 0px. Within the container, I want to have it fixed at 0px. And let me set the height and width for the progress bar. Let me set a height of 5px and the width as 100% percentage because I want to display the progress bar from the start to the end of the document. Okay, so 100%. Percentage. Now I want to have no color for the whole progress bar and red color for the filled part. That is for the whole progress bar, I don't want to have any color and for the progress bar that represents the value i want to have red color so for styling the progress bar we can use progress this is a pseudo element and i can specify webkit for browsers like chrome safari etc and mouse for firefox browser so if i specify progress then two columns then webkit progress bar and for this i want to have the background to be none because i don't want to have any background color for the whole progress bar so i'm setting background to be none for this and again for the filled part that is for the value we are displaying i want to have red color so let me specify progress webkit progress value 
I want to have background to be red. So this is set for browsers like Chrome, Safari, etc. And we are not sure which browser the user will be using, right? So we can specify it for Firefox as well. So let me copy and paste it. And instead of WebKit, I can specify MOZ here as well, MOZ. Now, if we want these styles to be applied, we have to set the value of appearance to be none for the progress bar. So here I can specify WebKit appearance to be none and also most appearance to be none. Only if we specify appearance to be none, we can style the progress bar and also progress value. When we are setting appearance to be none, we are actually resetting the default styles. Now we have styled our progress bar. Next, what we need to do, we have to set this value as the value of our progress bar, right? So how we can do that? Let me access the progress bar using its ID hash indicator. That is the ID here we have given dot attr and for value attribute, I want to set the value as progress. So progress. Now let me save this and check the output. See, we are already seeing the progress bar. Now if I move this to the top, we are not seeing the progress bar at all because here we have specified WebKit progress bar and also for most progress bar, the background to be none. So we are not seeing any progress bar. Now as I move the scroll bar, you could see that the position is changing and as I touch the bottom, it is reaching the end. Now let me close this and you could see this. Now suppose instead of red, if I change this to say green and also this to green. Now let me save this and show you. See it is green in color. Now as I move this, the position is also changing. Right? Let me make it back to red itself and here also red. Let me save and show you. See we are seeing the reading progress indicator. Now suppose I change the height here that is instead of 5 px if I make this as 20 px and save what will happen? See it is now displayed like this because the height is now increased. So let me change it back to 5 px itself and if I just remove this let me cut it from here and show you. See we are not seeing it as expected because it is like floating. We are seeing it in blue color as well. Though we have set the color as red, it is not getting applied. And also we are not seeing at the top. So we need to have this WebKit appearance to be none to have these styles to be applied. So we have developed a reading progress indicator like this using jQuery. Here what all information we have used, we have used the window height, document height and position of the scroll bar. Window height will give us the height of the visible area or the viewport. Document height will give us the height of the document. If we have too many paragraphs and images, the document height will be obviously greater than the window height. That is the height of the visible area. Then position will give us the scroll bar's position which will be 0 when the scroll bar is at the top. Here it will be 0 and if we subtract window height from document height we will get this value that is a scroll bar's position and here we have used this information that is position by document height minus window height into 100 will give us the value in 100. That is why here we have set the value maximum as 100 and the initial value is set as 0 and then we have styled the container to fix it at the top position and also set the height and width for the indicator that is the progress bar. Now suppose I don't have the width as 100% what will happen? It will display only see this is the width of the progress bar now. So we are not able to see whether we have reached the bottom or not that is why I have set the width as 100 percentage okay 
and we have set WebKit appearance and Mo's appearance to be none so that these styles will be applied and we have set WebKit progress bar and Mo's progress bars background color to be none and the progress value to be red. So we are getting a progress indicator that is reading progress indicator like this. So with the help of this reading progress indicator we can easily understand how much of the total article we have completed reading. So this is the reading progress indicator we have developed using jQuery.